One, two, three. Thanks for being with me. I'll do anything to protect you. As long as you're in the wind, I can find you. My name is Joe Zija, and I am the voice of Gavin. Uh, I am a voice actor in Los Angeles. I'm also an author, a military veteran. Uh, yeah, you know, just living the, the life of a freelancer, bouncing from, from gig to gig, taking care of my family and all that stuff. Thank you so much for your support. It's been really fun uh, being in this game and, and seeing the, uh, the player response to all the stuff that's been going on. So I hope you're enjoying it. Um, I never really expected that the that I would be doing this a year later. Honestly, uh, it's it's probably my second longest running project. You know, like video games. When I was growing up, you had a game that concluded, and now you have these sort of different worlds of like different kinds of games that can kind of go on forever. You build new content. You follow characters as you would real people in your life, uh, and that's a really interesting experience. <laughs> Gavin's a really interesting character, uh, especially when we first started out, before him and the producer really have a relationship. Gavin's very cold. Um, he's very business-like. Uh, he just wants to get stuff done. He's all about the mission. He's always talking about missions he's on and, and his, his job. But it's really neat to see Gavin's shell melt over time as he develops a relationship with the producer. Uh, and you see Gavin's softer, kinder side come out that just absolutely wasn't there at the beginning. Um, and especially some of the things that have developed with him, he was really dense at the beginning of the, the game's recording, you know? It was the producer would, would make a comment and he, just, he would just flatline. He just was not interested in romance. And it's been neat to see that kind of whittle away into someone that's more aware of the producer's feelings and, and stuff like that. Well, I, mean, I kind of alluded to it a little bit just a minute ago, but uh, you know, having having some military experience myself, I can kind of relate to the idea of being focused on a mission and thinking that that's like this one thing that's in front of you is the only thing that's important, and everything else is just sort of secondary. I like Gavin's business, uh, his all business attitude, um, but I also like the idea that he can learn to appreciate the people around him. Uh, that's that's growth. That's good character growth, and and I definitely can relate to that. In most projects, actors don't necessarily know what they're doing sometimes until they get into the booth. And this was no exception. And I walk in and it turns out it's like this kind of romance game that involves a lot of like, you know, cutesy, mushy elements uh, that I don't do a whole lot. Um, so I remember it like the adjustment period being kind of awkward, uh, kind of embarrassing. Um, but uh, it's, been, it's been fun kind of getting over that and then sort of accepting the, the game and its environment for what it is and, and, and growing into it. Honestly, sometimes it's keeping a straight face. Uh, you know, like it can get kind of silly being romantic and mushy and it's not always like, you're not always walking into the booth. First of all, it's difficult to romance an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, you know, it's, it's, we're in there kind of like, we're delivering lines and, and that's part of the difficulty of voice acting in general. Uh, but yeah, sometimes keeping a straight face because you were just saying all these really romantic things, and I'm, I'm saying it in an empty room, sometimes with people I don't know listening, so uh, sometimes it can be hard to, to keep your composure. The craziest part, the, the part that sticks out to me the most is the, the right beside you recording. Um, coming in and seeing like the particular equipment they use to record that like high fidelity, right in your ear kind of speech, it's kind of wild. It's even wilder that you're in a room by yourself with like other people on the glass as you're whispering into a microphone about cheap. So that that's a really unique experience that I really haven't gotten on any other projects and uh, definitely a moment, several moments to remember about Mr. Love. I think Gavin's is great because I hate Los Angeles traffic and flying sounds awesome. No. Okay. Do I, need to, do I need to hold it up to camera? Do I need to like... Uh, five, let actors try voicing each other's characters. Um, you know what? Uh, only because I was talking to Sean before the interview, I, I want to voice Kiro. <laughs> Found you, Miss Chips. Do you love me like I love you? I know. I already talked it over with the gods. 
Try going even more uh, nasal with you. Oh, I'm getting directed now? Yeah. Found you, Miss Chips. Do you love me like I love you? I know. I already talked it over with the gods. Okay, the next question is... Favorite line, date, call, or even chapter you've voiced? Uh, as far as like favorite scene, there's a scene, G Gavin's always rescuing the producer from something. But my favorite thing that Gavin has ever rescued the producer from is a wayward shopping cart in the grocery store. I, I, like, I don't know how you can top that. Uh, being like this, this dashing hero and the thing that you, like the major villain in this episode is a, a shopping cart. It's perfect. I know I've saved her from a broken high heel. Uh, I've saved her from uh, uh, a broken high heel, a shopping cart, a head cold. Um, there's another thing that I'm not saying because I don't know if it's appropriate to say on camera, but it's in a game, which is her period. Like I rescued, like during when she's having when she's having her period, Gavin takes care of her, right? Uh, so that's that's another great rescue moment. Um, then there's, you know, the usual, like, thugs and other people who have magic powers and vampires, I think at one point, rough people in a crowd. I'm always rescuing her from something. Was it complicated to come up with the right voices? Um, I guess the easy answer to this is, is no. <laughs> Gavin's, Gavin's voice is fairly close to where I am. Uh, just needed to adjust for personality and disposition, which is a lot of the characters that I play. Um, and a lot of characters that all actors play they're very close to who they are. They just have to sort of bring out a certain set of their personality and, and suppress others. And for Gavin, it was mostly like being very businessy, being very cold and a little bit aloof. As long as you're in the wind, I can sense you. 